Across these plains and prairies, Rocky Mountain highs. Fade off into All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. So, this is uh, part two of the, at this point, it's like a week long deal, but uh, this is part two of the truck situation I had going on uh, earlier this week. Uh, maybe a little conclusion of how this ended up. Uh, I did want to say that <laughs> this episode right here, this epi episode is dedicated to the uh, a hard working FedEx driver running doubles and triples in Ohio. Uh, from what I understand, our, our boy, uh, our boy Rich Lemon is just, boy, he's just on the edge of his seat waiting to see what happens with my truck. So <laughs> I was, uh, I was told I needed to dedicate this, this episode to Mr. Lemon. So, Hey, if you guys are driving around the turnpike on Ohio, East, West, whatever, head toward Indiana, out to, out of Indiana, you see a FedEx truck, it might be, it might be rich. So give him a honk and a wave. He'll, uh, He'll like that, he's probably gonna kill me for this. So, anyways, this is part two. Kind of give you the conclusion of how this all happened and a little bit extra. Uh, and also, at the end of this, I'm covering the load that I got on right now that, uh, that's getting me out of this. Uh, hopefully, it's, it's getting me out of this terrible week. So, here we go, I hope you enjoy. All right, what's going on everybody? So it's uh, it's day two, sort of day three of my uh, mechanical nightmare going on here. Um, looks like we got it figured, well, we got it fixed. Uh, I don't know that we got it figured out, but um, I'm currently inside the bay at uh, Stevens Truck Center in Dodge Center, Minnesota. Super cool guys, very cool, very knowledgeable. Super, super good guys. Uh, they're working on uh, getting this thing fixed. I think we've, we've got it all working. What it turned out to be is uh, it blew a couple fuses. So a couple fuses in a very weird spot that I couldn't see, couldn't get to uh, when I was looking at them yesterday. But it ended up blowing a couple fuses. We've got everything working. It all seems to be working now. I'm gonna take it for a test ride and see if I can beat it up a little bit and make it, see if we can get it to do it again. We just don't know why. Uh, it was blowing the fuses, but that's all it was. So uh, I'll give a little quick shot of, this is Roy here. Roy's been working on my truck. Roy's a good dude. Say hi, Roy. Hello. He's uh, he's putting her back together now. He had his computer hooked up and the computer told us a little bit, but didn't tell us anything like we really needed to know until we started putting fuses back in. So good thing Roy knew what he was doing and knew to go after those uh, goofy looking fuses and where they were. So. Roy's putting it back together now. We're gonna run it around the block, take it for a test drive, see what happens. But uh, as of right now, seems like I'm back up and running. So I'll, uh, I had to had to give my load back that I, I booked for out of Wisconsin going to Oklahoma because we weren't sure what was going on here, and I think the timing's off now. So I had to had to I had to cancel that load. So now that I know I'm up and running, or hope I'm up and running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can book another load and get out of Minnesota. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> well, I don't even know what to say. Don't even know what to say at this point. Uh, we got the truck fixed. I booked a load out of Iowa. Found a load, booked it out of Iowa. Came down here to pick it up. Got here, I don't know, a few hours ago. Got in the bay, got loaded. Whatever the problem was on Monday with my trailer, apparently still exists. Because <clears throat> now, I'm sitting in the bay at my shipper, loaded, ready to go, blocking their bay, 
and I have the same exact problem I had on Monday. My trailer won't move. Feels like it's getting there. Seems like it's getting there. Acting like it's getting there. But it won't move. I've done everything. Tried backing off the brakes, but the bolts are... I can't get them. Let me put it to you that way. So, stuck in the bay here, and uh, this particular customer only allows one. One. Only allows one service shop into their bay. So, we found a company that could come out right away, try to get these, uh, get this valve replaced or whatever is going wrong here. But they're not allowed on the property. So called the one company they do allow on the property and they said it's going to be two or three hours before they can get here so here i sit blocking their bay luckily enough these guys are being super cool about it um they got another bay and they say well we can you know it is what it is we can work around it so luckily enough they're being cool about it this this could be a lot worse so uh this load is going to i'll show it to you tonight when i get stopped um I don't, they don't allow any filming on site here uh, outside, so I don't, I can't show you anything outside of my truck. Um, but <clears throat> tonight when I get stopped, I'll, I'll show you the load. Uh, looks like this load is going to Lancaster, Ohio, which I was going to deliver it. I was hoping to deliver it tomorrow morning and then pick something else up try to save try to save this week but this absolutely terrible week I'm, I've got going here uh, doesn't look like that's gonna happen I, I I'm only gonna be able to to run I'm in Iowa and Iowa will let me run uh, in the dark so uh, this loads 11 6 wide so at least I can run to Davenport that might be my uh, my repair shop now Big Mama protection I think it's ABS protection or ABS something uh, one of the airline valves it was there was there's one on my trailer and then one on my flip and they were uh, kind of sketchy so we ended up I think he changed them or loosened them up or did whatever something with them and then he he traced the entire trailer uh, with a heater and with a torch traced every single airline crawling underneath my trailer and got all the airlines heated up uh, we drained the whole entire system, uh, all the all the moisture. Made sure we opened everything up and got all the moisture out of uh, out of the entire system of the airlines on the trailer, and then um, put a little bit of antifreeze in, air antifreeze in. Uh, so should be completely free of moisture. We're thinking he was thinking maybe it froze up a little bit, you know, maybe a piece of ice somewhere. Uh, I was doing some goofy stuff, so. He got the brakes unlocked and then my pedal wouldn't work like it was uh, it wasn't the brakes weren't doing what they were supposed to so uh, it took him about an hour and a half or so to, to go through everything and get it done but he got it done so that's what matters i got out of there way behind schedule this has been this is uh this is that week i guess you know this is that week of uh you have weeks like this yeah, the bottom line can't win them all. I'd say uh, I'd say I win more than I lose. So this week, unfortunately, not winning. But hopefully, I'll win tomorrow and actually get this thing delivered. But I'm gonna try to. I'm at Iowa 80 Truck Stop tonight. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out and try to show you the load. Uh, it's I got trucks on both sides. I'm back to this spot and. Uh, it's pretty tight, so I'm going to see if I can get any view of those. It's kind of dark, too, so we'll see what I can get. But 
go out there and show it to you before I run in to get a shower and grab some food. So, uh. Scarement was uh, a little bit of an event, just a lot of it. It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily hard, not anything hard about it. It was just a lot of it. So, uh, uh, I got a couple, a couple of the blade uh, pallets on the back. I think there's two of them back there. I got two straps over that. I had to pad them in a couple spots. Main unit is some kind of disker. This is the main unit here. Then we got uh, underneath here. I don't know if you can see those or not. There's a couple tires underneath there. Got one strap on the tires. I got four chains holding the main unit in. Then we got these pallets here. Some kind of pieces parts to them. Another one of the blade racks over there. Put it next to this. A bunch of boxes of parts here. Just put one strap over that. And then another another two of the blade pallets right here. And I just put two straps over that. Pretty uh pretty simple load, really, like it wasn't, wasn't any big deal. It's uh they told me it was 11 foot six inches wide. It's actually 11 foot nine inches wide, so I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to change. Luckily enough, we padded the Illinois permit, and I'll be in Illinois pretty quick in the morning. So, uh, padded the Illinois permit with enough. We did it 11:10, and then um, I haven't ordered Indiana and Ohio yet, so I can I can change those and make them what I need it to be. So no big deal. I'll see if I get to the other side of this trailer. I'll show you the other side of this thing. I'm sure these trucks are kind of loud. Here's the other side here. Our flags on. Make sure we got four of them this time. We're going into Ohio. Here's those disc racks in the back here. Sign and flag up. Well, that's it. It's really, uh, we're 11 foot nine inches wide, them, them tires up there. I was a little worried about that because of how high they are. So um, they're actually right at 13.6. So I got the high pull out, measured them right at 13.6. So hopefully, um, hopefully we'll get this delivered tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, the way this week is gone, I'm just praying I make it there. Jump back in the truck real quick so it's not so noisy. chilly up here in Iowa tonight. <clears throat> I think it's, I think it's not too bad. 28 degrees right now. Chilly enough. I managed to get, somehow managed to get front row parking here at Iowa 80. That's, I rolled in here at about 5.30 or so and somehow or the other there was a spot right up front. So good for me, I guess. Uh, so that's our load. Pretty basic, just a lot of it. So, uh, this one's good looking, but usually when there's a ton of stuff like this, we like to call them Sanford and some loads. That's kind of what it is, just pieces, parts all over the trailer. So I don't carry a whole boatload of straps. I was a little worried that I wasn't gonna have enough straps to get this done. I don't, the stuff I haul just generally doesn't call for straps. So I carry some in case, you know, situation happens like this, but luckily enough, I had enough. I think I got 
seven or eight straps on this thing total, uh, which I don't, that's about all I carry. I think I have one, one more spare in there somewhere. So, but we got it done. Got the, got the truck fixed again. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll make it through tomorrow. And then this place is open till, well, the paperwork says that the dealership's open till five, um, eight and a half, or actually eight hours and 15 minutes away. Uh, so hopefully I can cut a little bit off that and um, get there without needing a break. That's kind of the big one. If I got to stop for a half hour break, then, then that's that's going to hurt me a little bit. But I don't know. I haven't checked to see what time daylight is tomorrow. Iowa will let me run at night, so I'm, I'm I think Davenport from here is about 20 miles, so I can run. What I'll try to do, <clears throat> I got to check Illinois. I think I'm pretty sure Illinois is half hour half hour before state, so. I gotta check travel times and uh, and be sure of what I'm doing here for Illinois. But I'm gonna try to leave here a half hour before, or 20 minutes or so before I'm allowed to to be in Illinois, and then I can hit it right when I'm supposed to. And hopefully that'll get me out of here early enough that I can make that uh, five. I don't really want to show up at this dealership on five at five o'clock with this kind of load. I don't really want to show up there right before five o'clock. That'll just frustrate them guys i know i wouldn't want that done to me so on a friday night but um, hopefully i'll get there 3 30 4 o'clock ish and uh and that'll give them a little bit of extra time to get this thing before they go home so we'll see what happens i'm gonna call the customer in the morning make sure that they're going to be there and let them know i'm coming so that they aren't surprised by me because that's another one that's absolutely terrible uh show up and surprise somebody on a friday with the with a sanford sun load so so that's it, that's our load. It's been one of them weeks, man. Been one of them weeks. Can't win them all. Um, this has been mechanical issue after mechanical after after mechanical. So hopefully, hopefully next week, I got my eye on a load. I'm probably just gonna end up bouncing home tomorrow after I unload. I don't I don't see where I'm gonna have any time to get anything on a trailer, so. Uh, which is good in a way, because of the way I'm paid. I'm paid uh, the day I pick something up. <clears throat> so. If I was to pick something up tomorrow, then uh, Monday, you know, chances are it's going to be a decently long load, and I won't deliver it till at least Tuesday morning, whatever it is. So that would, um, I wouldn't make any money at all on Monday, and then I'd kind of be chasing myself again next week. So I knew I was taking a hit either this week or next week with the way this mechanical issues went. So uh, I'm choosing to take a hit this week instead of next week. I got my eyes on a load out of Cleveland going to. Uh, Oklahoma that I'm gonna call on tomorrow and see if I can get it booked for Monday I'll pick that up Monday morning run with it and that allowed me to make money like right away so that's uh that's where I'm at what I'm doing I'm gonna go in here and uh for once I found a truck stop it's got a restaurant that's open so I can get some decent food uh but I'm gonna run in here and get a shower and grab some food and I'll probably film some tomorrow on the way uh, get some get some travel motion or uh travel film so i'll uh i'll talk to you guys then i hope everyone has a good night and i really hope everybody's having a better week than i am with these mechanical issues so uh hope everybody has a good night i'll talk to you soon